this is Mark Richards with Influent Consulting. And last time we ran our first mapping, very simple mapping. We just read in the data, we sorted it, and we, we wrote it out to our salaries database. Um, and if you look at progress here, we can see that that mapping is actually finished. And I have a little hyperlink here that will allow me a shortcut to go and take a look at the logs. So if I scroll all the way down to the bottom here, uh, we can see that it took 26 seconds to run this. We have 674,484 rows that were taken in, but we can see that we have four rows that have been rejected here. So this is something that we need to take a look at and, and figure out why those were rejected um, and what we can do about it. So if we start at the top here and, and, and take a look down here, all right, so we see the first one here cannot insert the value null into column gender. Well, we know we've got a problem with the gender column. Uh, let's just carry on down and take a look at the next one. That's the same thing with gender and the same thing. Okay, so gender is the, is the column that's given me some problems here. So I need to go and do something about it. So I'm just going to rearrange these to give myself a little bit more room. Um, and currently, uh, gender, and I can click this anywhere, and select a link path um, and, and it'll show me exactly where it came from and where it's going to. So I want to intercept this and I want to do some data cleansing in here. So I'm simply going to uh, select this balloon string and I'm going to delete it and I'm going to add in here an expression transformation and I'm going to call this exp fix and if I could spell fix gender. So this is really my garage where I'm going to be taking this gender in and I'm going to do some maintenance on it and then I'm going to send it back out here once it's been cleansed. So again, if I select this transformation and I'm looking at properties, I'm going to select ports and I'm going to call this in gender. And then I'm going to create a new port and I'm going to call it out gender and I'm going to make sure it's the same precision here and it's not an input, it's only an output. And then I get the option here to come and create an expression for this. And if you see on the left-hand side, we have a series of uh, potential commands that we can use. Um, and if I look at any of these, I can, I can click the decode is the one we're going to use, which is kind of like a case statement. It'll give me the syntax that I need to use. So I'm going to use decode. And it's valid. the default is going to be true. And... I'm going to use the uppercase gender because that'll take care of my lowercase m and f's. So if uppercase in gender equals m, I want to set it to male. If uppercase in gender equals f, I want to select set it to female. And if it's not any of those, I want to set it unknown. And I'm going to validate that. My expression is valid, which is good. Um, but I want to make doubly sure here. So I'm going to right click on this transformation. And when we saw we created some profiles, but we also have the possibility within this tool of profiling at any point uh, along this transformation and profiling pretty much on the fly. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to select profile now. And my profile is going to run. I click on progress and I can see that it's finished so I'll take a look at the results and here I can see my in gender uh, with all the different values that I have and if I look at out gender that's a lot better so now we have male and female and we have unknown so we're down to three values and we have no nulls anymore which is uh, exactly what I was looking for so I'm pretty confident about that so I can take my out gender here and I can hook it up to my gender in here and now if I take a look at the link path of this, I can see where I've diverted it. And really quickly, I'm just going to rearrange this. So I'm actually going to be taking my gender and sending that, my cleansed version, out to this table. So I'm going to right-click in here, and I'm going to again going to run this mapping, and I'm going to go see what we get. OK, so my mapping has run. So I'm going to select this here and I'm going to go to the log and again I'm going to go take a look down here and now that we can see we have read in 674484 
and we have written out 674484 and we have zero rows rejected so that's a much better uh, result for us alright so in our next demo now that we have fixed gender the other one that we noticed was entity type so in our next demo we're gonna fix the entity type Thank you.